Robinson. What does vegan mean to me? Vegan means to me that I no longer care solely about myself. Meaning, I don't put me on a pedestal. I take compassion to the heart and give back to not only the community, the animals, the environment, but the world in a global diaspora. I think that once we truly embrace compassion, me or I is off the table. And it's all about we, us, and survival. I am Steven. I run RiseTheVegan.com. I'm also on Instagram, The Vegan Bodybuilding. Initially, I went vegan five years ago after being raised lacto vegetarian. I've never eaten meat, fish, or eggs. I went vegan after investigating more into the health consequences. So, my dad got ill with prostate cancer, and it caused me to like, you know, look a lot more into the nutrition side of things and like why people are more likely to get these kind of diseases. After looking more deeply into the nutrition, I discovered the horrible side of the dairy industry, so you know I had to at that point just completely eliminate dairy. And um, the connection with prostate cancer and uh, the cruelty involved, the environmental consequences—it just wasn't something that I felt like I should continue to like contribute towards. So yeah, at that point, I switched to vegan, and um, never been happier. My name is Dom Dom Thompson Dom Nick Thompson. Uh, I've been vegan now for about six years and before that vegetarian for 10 years so overall uh, plant-based for about 16 years I went plant-based while I was incarcerated um, over 15 years ago I went vegan well plant-based specifically for the animals when I made that transition going through the prison system I end up really re-engineering my body rethinking my spiritual journey uh, and really finding a, a greater purpose while why I'm here specifically to be a part of something that's greater than me, if that makes sense. That's just a summary of my journey with vegan specifically for the animals. And this lifestyle is one of the be most beautiful lifestyle, peaceful lifestyle. Uh, anyone out there that can, anyone out there should uh, adopt. All right, what's going on everybody? My name is Nimai Delgado. 27 years old. I've been vegan for about three years, but I was born and raised vegetarian and I've never eaten a piece of meat in my life. My main goal for being a vegan bodybuilder is to just create awareness. You know, um, I consider myself to be awoke. Uh, I consider myself to be aware since a very young age that I was taught not to eat animals because it's just not my right as a human to choose whether or not something else lives or dies for my convenience. Um, and by being a bodybuilder, uh, you can just kind of take your body to the absolute extreme and there's a lot of misconceptions and myths with bodybuilding especially being a vegan that you can never get enough protein you can never build enough mass you can never compete at the highest level while not consuming animal products and I'm, I'm a living testimony that you know I've never eaten a piece of meat in my life and I've been able to create this physique that many people say to be impossible but it's I built this physique uh, all cruelty free and I'm creating awareness for so much more than just animals I mean you, you help the environment you know you help eliminate suffering from the world and the most important part is that you help create the healthiest lifestyle possible um, I never had any kind of deficiency and I always ask people all the time you know if you could have more time on this planet with your family your friends your loved ones would you just give up uh, a certain part of your diet to, to to spend that time with them and the answer is always going to be yes. You know, I've come across people that always talk negatively about veganism. They said, oh, I'd never do that. It's, it's the craziest idea. I would lose all my gains. But, you know, I'm living proof and I just want to show other bodybuilders and other influencers that it's possible and you can compete just with the rest of the world solely with a plant-based diet. If I can inspire one person watching this video, then I consider my job done. That's why I'm a vegan bodybuilder. Hi, I'm Bianca Taylor and I've been vegan for about three years. After competing in uh, bikini bodybuilding for about two years, I was eating a lot of meat. Um, I really wasn't feeling good and then I kind of did a little bit of research and I found out where my food was coming from and how it affected the earth. And I just, I went vegan overnight. I never looked back. And my advice to anybody um, would just be to do your research so that you know why you're doing it. Like, if you're passionate about it, if you have a greater purpose to be vegan, um, you're, it's gonna just fuel you to keep going and to kind of spread awareness about it. Um, but yeah, I mean, know, know why you're doing it and just kind of enjoy it. Have fun with food. 
Hi everybody, my name is John Lewis, aka Badass Vegan. Uh, I've been vegan for 11 years now. I actually went vegan because my mother was diagnosed with colon cancer and through research and talking to the doctors, I found out that animal protein was the primary cause of her colon cancer. And um, once I did that research, I just pretty much never turned back from that point on. It's been 11 years now. I think everybody should go vegan just for the simple fact that we've been kind of lied to about what's healthy and what's not healthy. Like I said before, I had a guy try to argue with me about us being omnivorous because we can digest uh, animal protein. But like I had a good friend who said, we can digest plastic, doesn't mean it's good for us. You know what I'm saying? If I could make one person vegan, it would be whoever's watching this right now. If you're watching this, just really think about it. If you ever thought about it, you ever had like second thoughts, people try to like talk you out of it. If you really think it's for you, just do it. There's always gonna be ridicule no matter what you do to step out the box, so you might as well do something good for you. Uh, my piece of advice for somebody that wants to go vegan is just get ready for the mind frame. It, it's like anything else in this, in this life. If you wanna be a winner, you have to have the mind frame of a winner. There's gonna be people trying to stop you from going to practice, going to work out, whatever the case is. Same thing with veganism. If you really wanna be a vegan, you gotta block out all the negativity. This is Tim, aka Vegan Fat Kid, and I became vegan or living a vegan lifestyle about five years ago. And I adopted a plant based diet initially when I was sitting around in the hospital realizing that 80% of the people ate themselves into that room. Diabetes, high blood pressure, the stuff they're putting in our meat supply is killing us. Eating meat in general is killing us, not to mention the animals. See, that part came next. So I went from a plant based diet to a vegan lifestyle. Once I realized that, I didn't need any other creature on the planet to die just to feed me. And it's been a complete win-win ever since. My only regret, much like some of the other lads, is that I never went vegan sooner. I really wish I had. Now I heard someone say, who's the person in the world you would want most to go vegan? That's definitely the most important people to me. And that's my family. Mom, if you're listening to this, I really would appreciate if you would open your mind to the idea of a plant-based vegan lifestyle. I know that we're so set in our traditions, in our cultures, but if there's any way that we can cruelty-free our culture, we can't unknow what grandma didn't know. And now that we do, I'm suggesting a vegan plant-based lifestyle for the rest of your life. Go vegan. old and I've been vegan for almost three years right now and the one thing I really want to tell people if they ask me how to stay vegan and why there is a big problem stay vegan is just try to stay disciplined for a few weeks maybe two months and after this time you're gonna already feel what's changing like the benefits are so overwhelming that you really just have to stick to it for a short amount of time until the discipline transitions to a habit and as soon as you have the habit, it's not even hard anymore. The habit turns hard things to an easy thing. And that's always my go-to approach. I just try it, transition slowly but constantly. It's funny because a lot of people always say it's so hard to stay vegan or to even turn vegan. And I get those people because I was there too. I even recorded a video a few years ago telling people I could never go vegan. And it's all about your perspective and your expectation. If you say it's hard, it's going to be hard. If you say it's easy, it's going to be easy. And for me, the most important thing is that you just try. You try, you stay disciplined for a few weeks, a few months, and it turns into a habit to a point where it's going to be easy for you to just stay on the vegan diet. Because there's so much benefits coming with it. It's not only the recovery and the strength, it's also the feeling that you know you do something good for your environment. You're not only avoiding slaughtering animals, you're also helping the planet, and that's a very big thing. So my biggest request to everybody is before judging, before talking how it could be, how it is, just try it for yourself and make yourself an image of what's possible and what's not.